Don Carpenter's Halloween. Okay, everybody, this is my last horror movie review until The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, on Halloween Day. I'll be reviewing that on Halloween Day. Alrighty, so, Halloween, uh, 1978, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, and, of course, my favorite, quote-unquote, excellent performance by Donald Pleasant, his character of Sam Loomis. This is The Night He Came Home, Halloween. Classic movie. Classic, classic. Look at that menacing face of uh, Michael Myers. <laughs> Great guy, man. So, this was the first ever movie directed by uh, John Carpenter. Uh, apparently, this was supposed to be sort of somewhat a crossover to the Black Christmas movie that Bob Clark did in 1974. Uh, it became such a big cult that, you know, three or four three or four years later, he, you know, contacted, you know, Bob Clark, or Bob Clark contacted uh, Carpenter, or I don't know who, maybe even in Carpenter or whatever, or I think it was John Carpenter, yes, John Carpenter on the phone with Bob, he's like, man, what a classic movie, you know what, I'm going to make a movie just like that, this time I'm going to call it just Halloween, originally it was supposed to be the night he came home, originally that was supposed to be the title, but, uh, you know, Carpenter on the phone, was so in super, super, super interested in the 74 Black Christmas. He's like, yeah, man, you gotta, you know, took me on to this. So, Halloween was born. October 1978. Uh, what great, great performances. Um, I just watched it recently, yesterday. Um, I definitely want to say it's a bit overrated, but I still love watching the movie just to see, like, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis acting like a, you know, Lori Schroeder, that's her name, the babysitter, which I swear, she does not really look like a high schooler. She's supposed to be a high schooler in this movie, but does she, she does not. Like, she looks more like the, like, mother to the kid or whatever, to the boy. So this movie, well, originally the beginning of the movie, takes place in Halloween 1963, with this little boy named Michael Myers, Halloween night 1963, kills her sister. The parents come out, they pull the mask, and they're like, Michael? And goes right into October 30th, 1978, in uh, Illinois. Yes. Uh, of course, the classic... Da -da 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 -da. My God. I still love that. It still haunts me. It's still, it's still classic. You know, it still holds up very well. Everybody knows it. Originally, when this movie came out, not a lot of people didn't really dig it dig it as I'm just like, you know, people weren't really super impressed by it, but just who knew that the sequels would be coming out, and Michael Myers is such a thing, you know what I mean, like Michael Myers became this big profitable thing, like everyone's buying masks of him and figurines and all that, it's, just, it's insane, you know, he's like the main star, if you will, of the movie, and he's just sort of this psycho killer, and uh, comes around stabbing people and then you also have uh, officer loomis who is this guy who um investigated the myers house and they think that maybe you know somewhat you know being arrested and stuff they that he might come back or whatever and apparently he does you kind of see you know her and uh the other girl whatever michael comes out with his hand and stuff and uh yeah, and they all are shocked that he's back. You know, they, they took him out of the jail or whatever, and he's out there killing people. Um, surprisingly, I don't know if, um, with many of the history on this, I don't really think that it was intended to be somewhat a based-on story. I know Black Christmas was, but I don't know about Halloween. I'm not sure. So anyways, the, the budget was really, really low. Uh, John Carpenter said that, hey, you know, it was like maybe under like a, maybe a hunt, maybe like billions, under the billions, I think, you know, so uh, the mask was, of course, a mask that was, uh, it was a Captain Kirk, uh, you know, mask, the Star Trek, apparently that was supposed to be painted white and stuff to make it, you know, creepier for the movie, um, 
it's just one of those movies, you know, you just have to just, you know, it just seems to be a movie that's washed every year, or washed, <laughs> watched every year, and people just keep coming back to watch it, you know what I mean? It's just so haunting, especially the part where, you know, Lori Schroeder and her friend were walking, and they're going to be coming across this bush or whatever, and Michael's kind of popping up, like, you know, <laughs> it's so creepy, you know, but I love it. Of course, then you got the funny part with him in the white sheet. He's got the glasses on. He just killed a boyfriend. And now that girl's up next to be killed or whatever. And then towards the end, it just gets so creepy. And then Lori Shorter comes in the house. And she knows that all of her friends are, like, dead. And she sees Michael and stuff. And then at the end, Loomis shooting Michael. Spoiler alert, he falls off the freaking thing. And then, like, they stare at him. And then, like, they stare at him again. And he just disappears. And uh, towards the end of the movie, you hear like the like the huffing and puffing of uh, Michael Myers knowing that he'll be back. And uh, yes, of course, with its many of sequels, yes, he did come back. Now, there was a return to Halloween, uh, the fourth Halloween from uh, 1988. Uh, not that I didn't see it, but um, yeah, they... They did title The Return of Michael Myers, so... But other than that, I don't really pay too much much attention to the, to the you know, the sequels. I, I'm just... I never really bought it to it, so... Um, so, yeah, um... In my opinion, I think Halloween is still a super standard to horror. I mean, it just has everything that you want from a horror movie, you know? But... Uh, this was a 2007 release, um, if you guys want to know about it, so. So, yeah, um, this is obviously, you know, you know, not one, not one of the biggest budget horror movies, but it's just sort of, you know, I think to this day, you know, with the sequels and stuff, they try to hire the budget, you know what I mean, so Halloween became... I first became like a low budget, and then when they started making the sequels, they started making more of a higher budget, and then, you know, but still, I mean, it doesn't really hold up as well, you know, with the sequels, so, um, so yeah, everybody, that is my review, or at least talking about, you know, Halloween. If you guys have seen Halloween, hey, you know, check it out, I mean, of course, everybody has seen Halloween many of times, I know I'm probably going to see it again, probably on TV, and, uh, this Thursday, so, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, my review of The Great Pumpkin is coming up on Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.